$1,336.85. That's how much money was raised by the FSJ Hospital Foundation for their Cancer Research Fund. The money will go towards equipment that's outside the government's spending limit, so people who need treatment don't need to go far to get it. We want to be able to keep everything local and be able to allow people who are suffering from cancer or going through their own trials, that they are able to stay here where their support system is, where their family is. Along with the $1,300, the hospital foundation raised an additional $226.65 for Adora Kayford, a young girl with an inoperable brain tumor who the community has rallied behind. And we've seen it time and time again where a family is struck by grief and sickness and the community just gathers and it's it feels stronger and stronger every time. Sydney says events like this are important to take the burden off the parents. It's beautiful really to see that everyone sees how this is impacting one family and wants to do what they can so that the family is there to support her. Although Sydney loves to see the community support Adora, she wishes they didn't have to. No one wants to be stricken with cancer. No one wants to hear that news. No one wants that diagnosis. And when it happens to someone that young who still has their entire life ahead of them, and especially in Adora's case where it is an inoperable situation, it's devastating. After a successful Stick It to Cancer fundraiser, the Hospital Foundation is working on their month of giving, also known as Be an Angel Month. Their goal is to raise $250,000 before the end of November. Anyone can make donations to the Hospital Foundation online or at the Foundation's office. Lachlan Drash Bevan, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.